Imagine an electric car that doesn't overheat like others, doesn't catch fire easily, and promises to last longer and cause fewer headaches. This is the bold promise of Tesla's new aluminum ion battery, expected in 2026. The big breakthrough lies in the technology's core. Instead of traditional lithium, it uses metallic aluminum for the anode, a carbonaceous cathode, and a chloroaluminate-based ionic liquid electrolyte. And this trio completely changes the rules of the game. We're talking about a battery that can operate at lower temperatures and also prevents electric cars' biggest nightmare, spontaneous fires. Curious, right? And that's just the beginning. While lithium batteries still face the risk of overheating and thermal propagation, this new aluminum-based composition virtually eliminates this danger. The electrolyte is non-flammable and has near-zero vapor pressure, drastically reducing the chance of combustion even in the event of an accident. In other words, it doesn't just burn less, it barely burns at all. This represents a huge leap forward in vehicle safety, especially at a time when videos of EVs catching fire are going viral on social media and instilling fear in even the most skeptical consumers. But it's not just about safety in extreme situations. This battery is a powerful ally against premature component aging. Because it can operate at lower temperatures, natural wear is much slower. In the world of electric vehicles, excess heat means loss of capacity, more maintenance, and expensive service visits. This battery's thermal architecture simply changes the equation. By reducing the heat generated during rapid charging and heavy use, it significantly extends the system's lifespan, which represents real savings for the owner. Another interesting point is the fast charging performance. With ionic conductivity in the range of 10 to 13 millisiemens per centimeter, the aluminum battery ensures much more efficient energy transfer without power loss due to heating or internal resistance. This means that recharging is not only safer, but also more stable. And the more stable it is, the less likely it is to malfunction, fail, or perform irregularly. It's the kind of technical advancement that goes unnoticed in everyday life, but makes all the difference over the years. Of course, no technological leap comes without its challenges. The chloroaluminate-based electrolyte is highly hygroscopic, meaning it easily absorbs moisture from the air. If this isn't well controlled, the system can degrade over time. Therefore, battery packs must be sealed with almost surgical precision. Every joint, every wetted part, every internal layer must be chemically compatible and protected against water and air ingress. This is an engineering challenge that requires innovation in both materials and manufacturing processes. And here comes one of Tesla's boldest bets, being able to apply all this on an industrial scale. There's no point in having a promising battery if it can't be mass-produced or if the cost is unviable. The company's plan is to manufacture these new batteries in the mega factory being built near Houston, which shows that this technology is about to leave the lab and hit the streets. Tesla seems determined to prove that it is possible to deliver safety, durability, and performance in a package that can be mass-produced. This new type of battery also has direct practical implications for everyday life. Less heat means fewer breakdowns, fewer sensors activating overheating alerts, less loss of range on hot days, and less frustration for the driver. A car that suffers less from heat is a car that has fewer problems. And fewer problems mean less spending on diagnostics, maintenance, and part replacement, all without the user having to change any habits. If there's one thing few people consider when buying an electric car, it's the direct impact the battery has on insurance costs. And it's no small detail. Today, even with all the modernity, many EVs face insurance premiums up to 50% higher than combustion-powered cars. The reason? Simple. Repairs are expensive, the risk of fire remains a concern, and when a collision involves the battery, the damage is often costly for the insurer. But with aluminum ion batteries, this scenario could change radically, and faster than many people imagine. 
The big change lies precisely in risk reduction. Because this new battery operates at lower temperatures and virtually eliminates the risk of thermal propagation, serious incidents become less frequent and less destructive. This means that, in the event of a collision, the car is much less likely to be a total loss due to fire or explosion. And the lower the severity of the loss, the easier it is for insurers to price insurance more fairly. After all, the fear of a costly repair begins to disappear from the equation. Furthermore, there's another factor that weighs heavily when the insurer calculates premiums, the frequency of problems. And here, aluminum once again demonstrates its strength. Because it heats up less and suffers less thermal wear, the car needs to be repaired less frequently. Fewer breakdowns, fewer failures, fewer diagnostics, and fewer parts replaced. This significantly reduces the number of claims filed. And when the frequency of incidents decreases, the insurance premiums follow suit. Another interesting point is how this battery's behavior could lead to a complete overhaul of current insurance policies. Currently, many contracts include specific clauses for thermal damage, fire risk surcharges, and even exclusions for battery-related failures. But if real-world data confirms aluminum's superior safety, these clauses could be removed or relaxed. In other words, car owners not only pay less, but also avoid restrictions and additional charges that previously seemed inevitable. And there's more. When the risk is lower, repair procedures become simpler. Repair shops can estimate costs more accurately, quotes are more predictable, and the margin for error in calculations decreases. This reduces the need for price cushions and streamlines processes. The result? Less downtime, less bureaucracy, and more efficient service for everyone, from the insurer to the end customer. With this new scenario, even the way insurance is sold could change. Models with aluminum ion batteries could gain personalized policies with smarter coverage and prices much closer to, or even lower than, combustion-powered cars. This could be a huge draw for those still undecided about whether or not to switch to electric vehicles. After all, the fear of high insurance rates has always dampened many people's enthusiasm. If this movement is adopted on a large scale, the impact will also be felt in global statistics. Average costs per claim are expected to fall, total loss rates will plummet, and risk reports will begin to tell a new story. Insurers, who until recently viewed EVs as a complicated challenge, may begin to view them as more controllable assets, with less variability and fewer unpleasant surprises. All of this leads to a new perspective for consumers. Electric cars are no longer a luxury product with hidden costs, but rather a more predictable, safe, and financially viable option. This changes not only how people drive, but also how they plan their life with an EV. Because when even insurance becomes cheaper, it's no longer safe to say that electric cars are only for the wealthy or the brave. Anyone who's ever stood in line at a charger knows how frustrating it is to watch time tick by while your car insists on charging at a snail's pace. The problem is that with lithium batteries, fast charging encounters a technical barrier, heat. As the charge level rises, the risk of overheating and internal damage forces the system to reduce power. What was supposed to be turbo charging becomes a pain in the ass. But with the new aluminum ion batteries, this reality is starting to change in surprising and promising ways. The big change comes because aluminum handles heat better during charging. While lithium requires the car to break the charge, to prevent degradation, aluminum maintains high performance for longer. This means charging power doesn't drop as quickly, and the entire session is much more efficient. In practice, you can go from 10% to 80% battery in about 15 minutes using the same 250 kW chargers already available today, and best of all, without requiring any new hardware. The impact of this is huge. With shorter, more predictable charging times, chargers can serve more cars per hour. It's like turning a crowded mall food court into a drive-through 
that never stops, reducing the average usage time per parking space from 25 minutes to 12 or 15 minutes effectively doubles the network's capacity without needing to install more stations. This is especially valuable during peak hours or holidays, when demand spikes and impatient drivers become irritated by any queue. This efficiency also impacts the way trips are planned. With the aluminum battery, drivers no longer need to meticulously calculate stopping points or leave hours in advance to secure a spot at the charger. A quick coffee stop, a trip to the grocery store, or a break at the mall is all it takes to leave with a nearly full battery. This makes the routine more streamlined and less dependent on apps, maps, and calculations. It's a return to spontaneity, even when driving an electric car. For fleet operators, the benefit is even greater. Greater turnover at charging points means less idle time and more cars on the road. This is a direct productivity gain that reduces the need for infrastructure expansion to keep up with fleet growth. Instead of multiplying chargers, simply make existing ones more efficient. And this is exactly what the aluminum battery does, without requiring massive investments in new systems. Another significant change is the user experience. One of the biggest mental barriers for those considering switching to an EV is charging time. Even though range is improving, the feeling of waiting still weighs heavily. By allowing shorter sessions with less thermal risk, this new battery eliminates this anxiety. Drivers feel back in control just as if they were filling up at a traditional gas station without surprises or delays. Predictable charging also reduces those dreaded unexpected events. Arriving at a gas station with 5% battery life and discovering it will take 40 minutes was a common nightmare. Now, with the consistency of the aluminum battery, the estimated time is more stable and the chances of unpleasant surprises decrease dramatically. This is essential for those with a busy schedule, children in the car, or important appointments on the way. And interestingly, this technological improvement also has a psychological effect. With a charging experience closer to that of a gasoline-powered car, the fear of the unknown disappears. The EV stops feeling like a computer on wheels that requires planning worthy of an international flight and becomes simply a car. A modern, efficient, quick to charge, and easy to use car. An important step toward mass acceptance. Few people realize it, but the resale value of an electric car tends to plummet faster than that of a combustion-powered car. And the reason almost always revolves around the same thing, battery anxiety. No one wants to buy a used car without knowing if the battery will last another two years or two months. This uncertainty drives down trade-in bids, devalues the car, and even drives away potential buyers. But when an aluminum ion battery is added to the mix, this scenario begins to change, and dramatically. This new battery not only lasts longer, it ages better. Because it operates at lower temperatures and has a greater tolerance for intense charging cycles, natural wear and tear over the years is much slower. This means that even after six, seven, or eight years of use, the car still maintains a decent range. And that changes everything. Because contrary to popular belief, an EV's resale value isn't just linked to the make or model, but primarily to the battery's health. When this variable becomes a strong point, the car begins to be viewed differently, and the repercussions appear at all ends of the negotiation. Dealers feel more confident offering better prices. Buyers gain more security and become less demanding when it comes to warranties or extra discounts. And the banks? They are perhaps the biggest beneficiaries. With a lower risk of depreciation, financing becomes more affordable interest rates fall, and repayment terms extend. Ultimately, the consumer wins, feeling the impact on the installment value and the peace of mind of reselling later. Now, imagine the Model 2 with an aluminum battery, an affordable car aimed at a consumer who values every penny. If it can maintain up to 65% of its original value after seven years, compared to 55% for a model with a traditional battery, that already represents a difference 
of about $2,500 in your pocket. Sounds small? It's not. This amount could be decisive in closing or failing a future sale. What's more, it could be what enables a better down payment on a new car or reduces the time tied to a loan. The ripple effect goes even further. When used cars appreciate in value, pre-owned and certified pre-owned programs gain momentum. This strengthens the resale market, moves more vehicles, improves prices, and reduces the risk of unsold vehicles at dealerships. It's a virtuous cycle, driven by a simple yet powerful change, the adoption of a more stable, predictable, and durable battery. And commercial fleets also reap the benefits. Companies that replace vehicles every three to five years get better prices at auctions, faster fleet renewals, and a stronger image among customers. Battery health, once a feared unknown, becomes a key factor when it comes to resale. And with real data showing low degradation, the market begins to operate with greater transparency and confidence. Even the average consumer, who simply wants a reliable everyday car, benefits. They no longer need to wonder if they're buying a future problem disguised as a savings plan. With a consistent battery performance record, buying a used car becomes a rational and safe choice. This opens the market to more people, increases liquidity, and provides more options for those who want to start using an electric vehicle without paying the price of a new one. All of this shows that, while it may seem like a technical detail, the aluminum ion battery has the power to disrupt the market as a whole. It's not just about faster battery life or faster charging. It's about perceived value, trust in the technology, and financial predictability. And when technology creates predictability, it stops being a gamble. It becomes a smart investment. For many people, the ideal car in the United States needs to withstand the rigors of the Texas summer, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and still be affordable enough to fit the budget. And, surprisingly, that's exactly where the aluminum ion battery shines. It wasn't just made for engineers to be proud of, it was designed for real life, for those who live in Phoenix or Miami, where the sun is unforgiving, for those who don't have a closed garage or a charger at home, for those who want something practical, fast, and safe, without the hassle. This battery charges fast, yes, but what really matters is how it maintains its power even when the thermometer explodes outside. While many lithium batteries lose performance in extreme heat, aluminum keeps up the pace. This means that, even in the height of summer, the car will charge efficiently and deliver the expected range. There's no frustration of seeing charging slow down just because the temperature rises. What's more, the cool cell protects the system's health, preventing premature loss of capacity. Now think about urban use. That quick stop at the supermarket or in the mall parking lot becomes a perfect opportunity to recharge. Because the battery maintains high power until the end of the session, just 15 minutes can add to 120 or even 150 miles of range. That's the time it takes to grab a coffee. This completely changes the game for those who live in apartments or rely on public chargers. Flexibility increases and dependence on a home charger decreases. The car adapts better to the pace of the city. And it's not just performance, it's also safety. In the event of a collision, the aluminum battery reacts more stably with a lower risk of fire or explosion. Even after floods or more serious crashes, the systems behave more controlledly, which makes the work of insurers easier and increases driver confidence. Furthermore, this thermal stability also speeds up repairs, as fewer components are affected by heat, and diagnosis is simpler. For anyone who spent days waiting for their car to leave the shop because of a battery problem, this is a relief. Another point is sustainability.